my newest ram pump location. As you can see, we're about as deep and thick into the shit as you can get. Okay, I got a one inch piece of poly. A lot of people say you can't use poly, you gotta have hard pipe. That's bullshit, poly works just fine. So I've got about a 50 foot piece, runs up underneath this log right here. And um, I'll go show you where the head is. This is the head right there. You can see it's got a good two, three foot drop. The water right down there where the splash is going is about four feet deep. I stepped in there and it almost came up to my waist. Pretty deep hole. So that's running down underneath the log. Back to the pump over here. Let's go see what it does. Got a lot of pressure in there, so you might just take a little bit. Wow, it looks like I got a stuck check valve, maybe. Damn it. Alright, I'll come back here in just a second. Problem here. What the problem was is this thing here was kind of just wedged sideways. And I got it straightened out now to where it's opening again. So apparently, uh, these things can be bad quality too. This part really isn't very old. This is less than six months old. And I was kind of surprised to found it, find it jammed in there the way it was. But that's what it was. It was just jammed. Now that I got it apart and got it unjammed, I got it fixed. Once again, headaches are ram pumps. Alright, let's go ahead and prime this baby up and get her going. got going here it's already bumped up there to almost at 30 pounds hasn't even been running 30 seconds all right now we need to do now that we've got some pressure up let some of the water go through and start to fill the line up you can see it's getting good three to five pound jumps. That's good. We're getting good pressure, good pumping. got to get enough water shot up the line here so that there's enough back weight pressure to just leave the valve open. Let's see if we're there yet. Nope, not quite. We're just going to have to keep shooting the water up the line here for a minute. Alright, looks like we got enough water in the line now. So we're just going to have to let this charge up. we got a big ass hill we got to get up with this water. And I played with it yesterday. It took 30 seconds to get up to 40 pounds and another 30 seconds to get to 50 pounds. And it seemed to kind of top out there. I think that's going to be enough to do it. If not, I'll add some more head pipe up here. Alright, well, let's head up the hill now and see what's happening. Alright, you can see the creek over there. I don't know if you can hear the pump or not. Let's see. Alright, well, this line is traveling all the way up through here. Got it most of the way up the hill. Those got tangled up. I had to cut the piece of shit. That's all right. It was about time to put a check valve in the thing anyway. Let's see. Has it got water up here yet? Nope. No water quite up here yet. Alright, I'm going to get up the top of this hill. 
you can see this is some steep ass shit but I think the pump will do it and we'll see all right weather's getting ready to turn ugly here gotta get this done so I can get out of the rain but I wanted to show you something here now when you're going with your pipe you can cap your thumb over it like this and you just hold that sucker for a couple minutes and you should get an air pocket building up between the water and your thumb and that'll tell you that the thing is still pumping you hear that that was the air popping out you can also just take and put it up to your ear and you can hear the pumping in the line also so that's another way you can tell if your water is still pumping sometimes in a situation like this where you're this high up your water will level out and you'll stop getting push so this tells me I'm still getting push so it's probably going to be I don't know another 15-20 minutes before the water is up to this point and it gets to here I'm going to check this off and we're going to run the rest of that hose up to the top of the hill then from there the water is going to be running over the hill and once it starts to run over the hill siphoning is going to start to pull the water so that should make it um, a lot easier to get it to where it's got to go this is a 500 foot line there's the other piece right there I don't know if you can see it or not off the dark out here but I'm going to connect these up and um, hopefully this gets me up to my tank that was only about a five minute wait and I guarantee you that's more than 100 gallons a day right there I'll have to measure it to tell you exactly what it is but I've said enough of these up to tell you hey that's easily 100 gallons a day right there all right let's connect this pipe up the rest of the way and um, see if we can't get this to the tank